Leo ikiwa ni tarehe 30 mwezi Oktoba mwaka 2023 tunaangazia kisa ambacho kimemwacha moja kati ya wanasiasa maarufu kuwaitokea katika Jamhuri ya Kenya Koigi wa Mwere. Kuna wengi wamekuwa kijiuliza na nitasema swali hili kwa lugha ya Kikuyu. Koigi wa Mwere hadhi reko. Koigi wa Mwere ni kati ya wanasiasa ambao wamepigiwa upatu sana ikifikia katika eneo la Mlima Kenya kwa sababu ya uanarakati wake ambao waliufanya enzi zile ya kipinga serikali ya munda zake rais wa kwanza wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Jomo Kenyatta na pia serikali ya rais wa pili wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mzee Daniel Toroitich Arap Moi ila sasa ni mzee na amekuwa mkongwe leo amejumuika naye Koigi wa Mwere ni aliyekuwa waziri mkuu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Raila Amolo Odinga akipata kujiunga na familia ya Koigi wa Mwere katika kumwomboleza mama yao mzazi ambaye amepata kuiaga dunia Koigi wa Mwere ni moja kati ya waandishi maarufu waliotokea na machapisho tofauti kuweza kuipinga serikali ya mzee Mu, eh, Daniel Toroitich Arap Mwai na pia mzee Jomo Kenyatta Akiwa tu katika tasnia yake wanahabari pia ali, aliweza kujipa, kujichukulia ama niseme aliweza kupokea jina kati jina la mwarakati maarufu na mwanarakati nambari moja katika Jamhuri ya Kenya wakati ule. Kulingana na ujumbe ambao amepata kuchapisha kupitia ukurasa wake wa kijamii aliyekuwa waziri mkuu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Raila Amolo Odinga ameweza kusema haya kuhusiana na Koigi wa Mwere na kuweza kuiaga dunia kwa mamake Koigi. Amesema hivi, Mama Ida Odinga and I joined the family of former Subukia MP and former Assistant Minister Honorable Koigi wa Mwere in mourning the death of their mother Monka Wangu wa Mwere. Mama Koigi as she was popularly known. Mama Koigi was a stout crusader for human rights and one of the champions of Kenya's second liberation. She fought hard for the re release of political prisoners during the Nyayo era, while two of her sons, Koigi and Kuria, were part of the prisoners. Her drive and zeal were not just for the sake of the two, but the entire group that was being incarcerate, incarcerate, incarcerated at the Nyayo house and elsewhere in the country. Indeed, the constitution we celebrate today is part of the fruits of the struggle she withstood together with all the mothers of political prisoners in the early 1990s. At the time of her death, she was a resident of Bahati and I thus feel obliged to lead all Bahati residents, the people of Nakuru County and the country at large, in extending my condolences to her family. May God comfort them during this difficult time. Bahati Nakuru and the whole of Kenya has lost a gallant citizen and a woman leader. May your soul rest in peace. Uni ujumbe kutokea kwa liyekuwa waziri mkuu Raila Amolo Odinga kiuelekeza kwa kwa igi wa mwere pamoja na familia yake. Wakati huu mgumu ambapo wanaomboleza kifo cha mamake mzazi kwa igi wa mwere. Na nikipada kumuangelea mamake kwa igi wa mwere pia, nita kukumbusha katika nyakati zile kwa igi yupo gerezani kama kuna mama aliwahi ongoza eh, nyendo za wanaharakati wakati ule kuweza kupinga kushikwa na kukamatwa na pia kufungwa ndani kwa wanasiasa ambao walipinga serikali ya mzee Moi alikuwa ni mamake Koigi tumemuona mara nyingi na pia katika kande nyingi za video katika mahakama tofauti hapa nchini Kenya wakati mwanawe alikuwa akifikishwa mahakamani akiweza ku piga mayoe kule na pia kuweza kuleta prokushani kwa ajili ya wanawe na pia wa Kenya wote kwa jumla ambao waliwahi pitia mikono ya serikali kuweza kudhulumiwa kwa sababu ya kuomba haki zao. Nyao kwa sasa kile tunasema sisi kama FM Show KE tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu awape subra familia yake Koigi wa Mwere na tunamtakia mamake Koigi a Mwenyezi Mungu hala subahana wa Taala aila za roho yake mahala pema peponi pasipo na bugda tuungane kwenye video zijazo jina langu ni Felix Munda